welcome to, to Through the, the Halls, Halls Network. Network. My name is Andy Wobble. And I'm Tess Vonderwell. We're going to be flying through the halls today to update you on what's been happening in the nest. Start us off. We have special faculty guests, Mrs. Brenneman and Sister Elaine Bakke, joining us to update you about our school's foreign language program. Also be ready for the DSJ fun fact that you'll only hear on our channel. Let's get right into it. Delta St. John's provides a Spanish and an American Sign Language course to allow students in these classes to achieve foreign language credits and to help them excel and explore foreign cultures. Our reporter, Chloe Etzgorn, is here with Spanish teacher Cecilia Lambaki and ASL teacher Mrs. Brenneman to dive deeper into these courses. Take it away, Chloe. Hello, today we are here with Sister Elaine, our Spanish teacher here at St. John's. Thank you so much, Sister Elaine, for coming on with us. Good morning, Chloe. Good <laughs> to be here. All right, so how long have you been teaching Spanish, and when did you first start learning it? I've been teaching Spanish for 20 years. I also can teach French. Um, I started learning it when I was doing my master's program in, Span in French. Uh, the professors wanted us to have a second language as well, and I'm glad they wanted that. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Uh, what is the importance of learning a foreign language? Uh, foreign language learning is more important nowadays than ever before because of the fluidity of populations moving around the world. Uh, they can't learn English immediately, so it's very, very helpful for all businesses, medical, um, whatever, to have some ability in in uh, communicating in a foreign language. Also, the apps that are translators are uh, statistically 60% accurate. So that it's better to know it mm -hmm. yourself rather than rely on some app. Mm -hmm. Along the lines of that, why should students learn Spanish specifically? Well, we know uh, by, I think it's the year 2050, the country that will have the largest Spanish-speaking population will not be Spain or Mexico, but it will be the United States. And therefore, it's just smart of us to have some understanding of Spanish so we don't feel like we're left out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what is the curriculum in our Spanish classes here at St. John's? Aha. Uh -huh. Our curriculum is whatever the students need to succeed well. And with that, I want to show you, um, I rely a lot on the organization called the American Association of Teachers of Spanish. And every year they offer a national Spanish exam. In my opinion, I am not the only final judge of how well my students are doing. I want an outside, um, professional assessor to see what my students are doing, how they measure up with the rest of the students in the country. And this simple little plaque shows <coughs> the accomplishment of our students over the past years. Your name might be on here, Chloe, for <laughs> last year. These are students who have done very well. For example, Erica Munter graduated last year after five years of Spanish. And she applied for the National Senior Scholarship in Spanish, and she obtained second place in the nation. Um, that speaks highly of our Delphi St. John students. And the other awards here, many, many of our students, these can be found on the national website. So it's not my opinion of my students, this is national objective assessment of how our Delphi St. John's students are doing. Uh, what Spanish classes here are offered at St. John's? We'll offer anything that anybody wants to take. So right now I teach uh, um, first, second, third, and fourth grade, and as well as eighth graders can take Spanish culture, which is an excellent foundation for the language, and then Spanish one, two, three, four, and if anybody wants advanced placement, like we had last year, uh, there's also advanced placement Spanish. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me more about how our elementary school is involved? Uh, yes, parents wanted their children to start learning a language uh, when they're very young. That's the easiest for them. 
So each room, I go to each classroom a half hour a week. And um, they learn colors and numbers and articles of clothing and classroom vocabulary and weather expressions uh, as much as they can. That is amazing. So that is amazing. It's fun. Mm -hmm. uh, I enjoy the contrast of the young students with the high school teenagers. It's just very enriching for myself. Also, I want to say <coughs> that I, as a foreign language teacher and other teachers, our greatest joy is watching the talent of the students blossom. Uh, when students come to Spanish, they know virtually nothing. And then you can see them, the talent develops and develops. I had one student who took seven years of French and Spanish classes and to see that talent um, is wonderful, very uh, mm -hmm. rewarding. Yes, yes, definitely. Thank you so much, sister, for coming on with us today. My pleasure, thank you. Hello, today here we have Mrs. Brenneman, our sign language teacher here at St. John's. Thank you for coming on with us today. Sure. Um, our first question is, how long have you been teaching American Sign Language and how did you discover your love for it? Um, I've been here at St. John's for six years, so full time for the last two years. And I actually discovered it in, when I was in high school, um, but didn't really do anything with it until I was in my 20s. Nice, nice. So what advantage does learning ASL give to our students? Well, the nice thing about taking it as a second language is it gives them the opportunity um, to possibly use it in the future, whether they actually want to take it, um, some people take it as a minor in college. Um, it also gives them a little bit of sensitivity um, and awareness of deaf culture, and that way, if you know, they run into a situation in the future, they for sure can remember the basics. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Um, what is in the sign language curriculum here at St. John's um, for like all the levels offered here? So we offer two levels. Um, they're both year-long classes, and the first one is Intro to American Sign Language, and the second one is Advanced American Sign Language. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Um, how does our sign language program make St. John's different? So the nice thing about American Sign Language um, at St. John's is that it's not offered at all of the other high schools in the area. Mm -hmm. It is offered at some, which is nice, um, but it just gives them a chance to, if they don't want to learn a spoken language, they can come and take mm -hmm. ASL. All right, thank you so much. Yep, thank you. Thank you, Chloe. Up next, we have our DSJ fun fact told to us by Olivia Hines. What's the fun fact today, Olivia? Thank you, Tess and Andy. Did you know that there's an underground tunnel that runs from the school to the church? But unfortunately for all my fellow adventurers, it was filled in several years ago. Signing out, Olivia, who puts the fun in fun facts. Well, the more you know, right, Andy? That's right. Thank you for all for listening, and be sure to stay tuned for our next episode. Also, make sure to tell your friends and family about our channel. Our info will be posted on the Delta St. John's website. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for Through the Halls Network. Until, Until then, then, see you, you next time. time.